School of the future. Students in West Bend are going to first grade with a robot. The elementary school is the only one in the state to have one such robot. And Bridget Shanahan joins us live now to tell us why Fair Park Elementary brought in the robot for class. Bridget? <laughs> That's right, Vincent Susan. We got a lot of people up early with us this morning inside Fair Park Elementary. This is Ari Martin, and we're talking to her through her robot this morning. And you named her Robotica, right, Ari? Yep. And I heard you came up with that name in just a couple seconds. And Ari is Ari six years old, and she's got a spinal disease, so it's hard for you to come to school. But you can use Robotica to come to your classroom, right, Ari? Yep. And and do you like being able to sit with other students in your class? No, mm -hmm, because like, I had like, I didn't have more students, so I have to talk more. So now you have more students and more friends too, probably. Can you show us how you drive Robotica around your classroom? Yes. I'm down. Why don't you go find your desk, Ari? So Miss Sam is with us this morning, too. She's one of Ari's teachers. And she can use these lines on the floor here. She can turn her camera down and watch the lines on the floor. And actually, can you go over to your desk, Ari? She's, where, she's got an iPad on top of Robotica. And then we can see what she's looking at right here. And she uses these lines on the floor. She can go to her desk. She can go out in the hallway. She can go down to the library. Basically, anywhere the other students can go. So it's a pretty cool thing for her this morning. And normally, how's it going, Ari? Is this hard to drive? No. No? Uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you like about having Robotica? Because I can drive it. Yeah. And we should say this is the only school in the state of Wisconsin that has something like this. It's a really cool opportunity for Ari, who has SMA. So she has some muscular disorders, but otherwise she's cognitively at the same pace as her other first grade classmates. So this is a really good fit for her. Um, we'll be talking more with her. We're going to have more on Ari's story coming up for you on Live at Noon today. But live in West Bend this morning, Bridget Shanahan, today's TMJ4. Oh, that is awesome. Thanks so much, Bridget. And good for Ari. And thank you to everybody at Fair Park for waking up early with I know. to share this story with everyone. And Ari, too, yes. and the family. Early wake up <laughs> yeah. over there as well. Coming Appreciate up next here on Live at Daybreak.